Hello. Welcome to day seven of our virtual learning. It's great to have you back again. So excited to be here. So we're going to get our started with our Brain Smart Start. And then we're going to talk a little bit for the parents, just a little parent tip about establishing routines in your family during this time. So let's get started. Get up, stand up so we can get our bodies moving and our brains ready to learn for the day. So we're going to start with the same good morning song we did yesterday on Monday, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So here we go. All right, I'm going to back up here a little bit or just my video. There we go. Ready? Good morning, good morning. Let's get ready to bring our day. Good morning, good morning. Let's get ready to start your day. Get your hands ready. Shake, shake. Get your arms ready, stretch, stretch. Get your legs ready, cross, cross. Get your focus ready, breathe. You're doing it. Good, good morning, good morning. Let's get ready to brace our way. Good morning, good morning. Let's get ready to start your day. Get your trays ready, shake, shake. Get your arms ready, stretch, stretch, stretch those arms. Cross, cross. Get your focus ready, breathe. Good morning, good morning. Let's get ready to brace our way. Good morning, good morning. Get ready to start today. Now find your friend. Shake, shake. Clap, clap. Connect with a friend. Hip, hip. Connect with a friend. Give a big hug. I'm going to hug Schubert here. Hug, hug. Good morning, good morning. Ready to start your day. Get ready to start your day. All right, way to go. You feel like you're moving, getting ready a little bit, getting that heart rate up. That's great. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another movement song here to even get us ready even more than we already are. So let me get this started. All right, and here we go. We are doing Can't Sit Still. This is a great song. So just follow along, listen to the music, and we're going to do this. Schubert and I are doing it right now. All right, here we go. Hey. I got my fingers wiggling to the rhythm. I got my fingers, my fingers wiggling to the rhythm. Can't sit still. My wrist wiggling to the rhythm. Got my shoulders wiggling to the rhythm. Got my shoulders, got my shoulders wiggling to the rhythm. Cause I can't sit still. Get the rhythm. Nose wiggling to the rhythm. Got your nose wiggle to the rhythm. Can you guys do that with your nose? Sit still. Knees wiggle to the rhythm. I got my knees wiggle to the rhythm. I got my knees wiggle to the rhythm. And I can't sit still. Chick wiggle to the rhythm. Got my cheeks wiggle to the rhythm. But my cheeks go by but I can't sit still. <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees, toes, 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 shoulders, toes, knees, head. 
head, shoulders, knees, toes, shoulders, knees, toes, head. Head to the rhythm. Head, shake it to the rhythm. Got my head to the rhythm and I can't sit still. Do your toes. Wiggle to the rhythm. Got your toes. Got my to wiggle to the rhythm and I can't sit still. Toes to the rhythm. Elbows wiggle to the rhythm. Elbows wiggle to the rhythm. Can't sit still. Hands with the rhythm. Got my hands clapping to the rhythm. Got my toes to the rhythm and I can't sit still. I can't sit still. Sit still. Yeah! Woo! That was a fun song. I hope you guys like that song. That was really fun. Woo! All right. So go ahead and um, sit down, and we're going to do what our next part is in our Brain Smart Start, and that is to do our breathing. So we are going to do that in one second. Let me just make sure I'm setting this up. I'm ready to go for our next thing. All right, here we go. So we're going to go ahead and do pretzel today. Again, I think we've already talked about it. So remember what we do with pretzel. We have our hands are out like this. Our, hand, our palms are facing each other. And we're just going to clap, but we're going to go, oops, I missed it. We're going to turn our thumbs upside down and our hands. So we're going to clap our hands, clasp our hands together. Put them underneath your chin. You take your thumb, put your thumb right there underneath. You can, if you're standing up, you can fold your legs right at the ankles. And we're going to take three deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, you ready? Breathe in and out. You two more times. Breathe in through your nose. Count to four. Make sure your shoulders are staying down. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Relax and fill your belly up. Ready? Breathe in. And out. Okay, one more time. One more. Breathe in. And out. Way to go. Now we're feeling it. All right. So we are going to do an I Love You ritual now. And we're going to do Georgie Porgy. All right. And Georgie Porgy goes like this, just in case you haven't learned it yet. And you're going to, and we're going to, I'm going to review it with you first. And then you're going to find a friend, a parent, or a sibling, or somebody in your house that you can do it with. And you're just going to go, Georgie Porgy. Pudding and pie gave his friend a big high five. And then you're going to do with his friends. He loved to play. Tickle, 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 Schubert. A gift of a smile he gave each day. I'm going to blow Schubert the smile. There you go. Way to go, Schubert. All right, now Schubert and I are going to watch you guys do it. You guys got this. Are you ready? Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, gave his friend a big high five. That was safe. With his friends, he loved to play. A gift of a smile he gave each day. And Schubert just blowed you his smile. He's thinking about you guys. Way to go. Way to go. 
All right, so we're going to do our wish well today, and we're going to do the wish well we did yesterday, which is to sing the song. So we're going to, it's such a sweet, sweet song. And while you're doing that, let's think about all the people that are helping us uh, remain safe, all the nurses and all the doctors and all of the first responders that are going ahead and keeping our school family and all of us in our community safe during these um, times. So let's um, think about all of them while we sing this Wish Well song. All right, I'm gonna get this started. Here we go. My heart to your heart, I wish you well. My elbow to your elbow, I wish you well. My back to your back, I wish you well. My eyes to your eyes, I wish you well. Can we help anybody know? How can we help each other grow? Sometimes it's hard to know what to do. Wishing them well connects me to you. Wishing them well connects me to you. That's what you can do right now. You can wish all those people out there helping us. Well, heart to your heart, I wish you well. My elbow to your elbow, I wish you well. My back to your back, I wish you well. My eyes to your eyes, I wish you well. Can we help everybody we know? How can we help? each other grow sometimes it's hard to know what to do wishing them well connects me to you wishing them well connects me to you well my knees to your knees i wish you well my shoulders to your shoulders, I wish you well. My hip to your hip, I wish you well. My hands to your hands, I wish you well. I wish you well. I wish you well. I wish you well, and so does Schubert. Way to go, school family. You did it. You should feel proud of yourself. We wish you well. You're in our hearts. We're thinking about you guys. All right, so our next thing we are going to do is our commitment today. So if you guys can think about a commitment you want to do, and if um, you think of your own, that's wonderful, as long as you kind of think about it and and go back to it during the day and share it with your family, that would be wonderful. But if you don't have a commitment that you're thinking of today, what I'd like to do is um, talk about uh, what you're going to do. Our commitment is we're going to try to follow our routines, what our family is helping us do. So whatever the routines are for the day, if we can commit to trying to follow those routines, that would be super helpful. So if you're ready, let's take a deep breath. and say, I can do it on three. One, two, three, I can do it. I can try my hardest to follow that routine. And if I happen to not be able to follow it and have some oopses along the way, you can. You can have an oops and say, oops, I made a mistake, but I'm still wonderful. Taking that deep breath and trying to refocus on whatever it may be. All right, so parents, are just a really quick parent tip today is uh, on the Conscious Discipline website, 
um, they just posted um, establishing routines and stuff for families. So uh, it's it's important for our children to establish those routines. And I'm sure by day seven, you already have a set routine, but just in case some of you who haven't had it or it's still changing a little bit, having those visuals for kids is so, so helpful for them. It provides, uh, sets learning routine and provides predictability and brain, um, and it helps the brain increase their focus, their attention, and blood flow to the brain if we know what our, our expectations are and able to follow those routines. It's a helpful way to provide children with a predetermined choices too for their brain breaks. So again, throughout the day, part of that routine should be providing some brain breaks for kids, which I'm sure many of you are already doing, but maybe establishing those a little bit differently if you're finding a struggle to bring them back to a routine of maybe having to do a little bit of work and all that, especially for our older kids, um, that can be a little bit challenging. So on the Conscious Discipline website, there are some, this is kind of what it looks like. This is a blank form. And this is for the younger kids, maybe for three to five year olds. And it says, you know, we're gonna start with a brain smart start. And then we're gonna um, do our first activity for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Then we're gonna take another brain break. And then we're gonna to go to another activity, uh, a brain break, and then a third activity. And then that could maybe be called the day and that could be it for that day or whatever it may be. So you guys can establish this, but writing it out on this piece of paper might be really helpful. Again, this is available on the Conscious Discipline website under the free resources. Um, and for, so for this, you know, this is kind of how it's written out, what they're going to do, some worksheets from school or from looking on our uh, presentation of um, what we have online for the schedule of what kids can do. You know, maybe picking an area in science one time or picking an area in math or doing whatever it may be. So writing that out here would be super helpful. Then for our morning, you know, our older kids, it obviously will be a little bit um, longer because maybe they have they have to do work for two to three hours. So again, that would you know include a little bit more work in that. So they have a routine set up for the older kids as well. Uh, what's important part of this, though, again, is establishing you know times for break and establishing those choices for children is really important. So what does that break look like? Uh, what are they able to do? So making sure that they kind of write down or you guys discuss ahead of time what does that break look like? Is it um, doing yoga? Is it doing a dance time, a dance family dance? Is it jumping rope or is it, you know, doing the limbo or whatever it may be, you know, just, and, and again, just doing that connection time with each other is really important to find that, to, to do that together. I'm finding that it's very valuable um, as, for me as well, doing it with my um, son right now and, and what I'm teaching him as well. So having those opportunities, those scheduled breaks in there, so again, that helps bring them back. And um, a time timer, if you have that at home, or just kind of setting a timer on your on your phone. And so that's a, a great visual um, to use as well. So anyway, that's my parent tip for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. It's been really fun doing these and sharing some of the things that I've learned through Conscious Discipline, and I'll continue to do that. So um, we, I wish you well. Hubert wishes you well. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Let's say bye. Bye. See you tomorrow.